Hi, this is Jeff Hicks. This is a clip from my Train Signal course, Windows PowerShell Fundamentals. I hope you enjoy it. One of the great things about Windows PowerShell is that we can simply ask PowerShell for information about what it knows. For example, let's say I want to find out what can PowerShell do with services. Well, I can just say help, and help is a shortcut for the get help commandlet, and it will look and find everything it knows about service. And I can see from the help system that, oh, well, there are commands like get service, stop service, start service. So I can then type help get service. How do I use the get service commandlet? And I get a description here. Now, this description is quite useful because I can see the name up at the top. I get a short synopsis. I get the syntax. Now, in this particular case, get service has three different syntaxes that you can use. The parameters you see there are all specified with a hyphen in front of it. So for the first example, I can run get service dash name and then a string object for the name of the service that I want. When you see things in square brackets, for example, you can see here that this name parameter is in square brackets. That means that this is positional. It means I don't have to specify the name parameter. There is a default that will return all services. And I'll show you in a, in a moment how you can discover some of that information. But I can go through and I can see the rest of the parameters here, such as dash computer name, dependent services. I also then have a description, gives me a little more information, and some references to other commandlets such as start service, stop service, as well as an online version. I'll touch on that at the very end of my demonstration. I can also use get help, as you can see from the remarks there, to get a little more information. I can run help get service dash detailed, and I get Again, the same name, synopsis, syntax, description, but now I start getting parameters. And this is page to the more command. Uh, if you hit the space bar, that will advance it one page at a time. Or you can hit Q to uh, just stop out of that. But you can see there are all the parameters with a little more information about what each of those parameters uh, does. And then I also have examples, which I think is a killer feature in Windows PowerShell. I get the example and a description about what that example will do. Uh, some commandlets have a few examples, some like this one have quite a few. You can also run help get service full, which will give you everything that PowerShell knows for the commandlet. Uh, so there again, there's the name, syntax, description, here are all the parameters, but now you can also see I have details on all the parameters, such as whether it's required, whether it is positional, whether it has a default value, if it accepts pipelined parameters. So it's a great way to discover without having necessarily to crawl through a book to discover how do I work with a particular commandlet. And again, you also have the examples at the very end. I'm just going to hit Q there to break out of that. If you just want to see the examples, uh, you can use the dash examples parameter for help and this will jump to just the examples. Again, I'm going to press Q to just abort out of going through all the examples again. There are also, as I showed you, a number of about files. These are help topic files which describe certain concepts. For example, let's say I want to find out about the if construct. Um, I can do help about under bar if because I can see that from the list. And here is a topic with a description, either a short description and a more long, longer description, which goes through and explains everything that you might need to know about that particular concept and some references to other related content. This also works with aliases. So let's say I've been using the dir command. Well, I know that dir is not an actual commandlet because commandlets start with a verb and end in a noun. Uh, but I can type help dir and it will resolve to the appropriate commandlet name. In fact, I can also use the dash online for any of these Microsoft commandlets that have that URL link. When you do this, your browser will pop up and go to a specific link for that particular commandlet. 
where again you have all of these syntax all the descriptions about all the parameters and now at the bottom you have the examples what's really nice is that you can click here on copy the code and then paste back into your PowerShell session this is also where you can get the most up-to-date help as well as any community content that other people have added or bugs that have been reported in the content for example uh, someone has posted a comment here about the filter parameter you are in fact encouraged to rate and give feedback on the commandlets now the about topics don't have an online link but once you get here if you scroll through here here is a link to the Windows PowerShell about topics so about break and click so you can get that same content even though it's not available online from the command prompt uh, you can get to it from the browser here and if you totally forget, how do I use help? Well, ask. Run get help, which is the actual commandlet, for get help. Now, this scrolls through without the paging. So if it goes by too fast, just scroll up. And again, there is the syntax and all the different ways that you can use help, which you can get by asking help for get help. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.